around the 4th of July, we see lots of uh, sm usually small um, burns come in through the emergency room. Um, hand, uh, holding fireworks, sparklers too close to their fingers, they'll have burns on their hands. Sometimes they drop things, have them on their feet or their extremities, um, but usually hand burns. The safest thing with fireworks is to, um, to be smart when you do it. Um, it's fine to have a fireworks celebration, um, try to keep children away from the actual fireworks themselves. Um, a lot of times we have injuries after the fact because uh, fireworks that weren't finished end up um, exploding or um, if they're unused, they, kids get into it the next day after mom and dad are gone back to work. Um, it's important to keep a safe perimeter if you are um, using fireworks. Keep um, a safe distance, keep the um, spectators, family, friends away from that um, immediate area. Having a uh, bucket of water, a garden hose, uh, fire extinguisher nearby is uh, also a safe tip. Most immediately you want to add, uh, put some cool water on it, um, not necessarily a piece of ice, just a cool, cool cloth that tends to, um, to calm the burn down a little bit. Um, if it's anything significant, you would want to go to the emergency room. Sparklers look fun and a lot of times parents will let the littler kids play with the, you know, hold the firework, uh, sparkler rather. But sparklers get to almost 1200 degrees heat at the, at the uh, brightest point on the sparkler. So it may not make a huge area burn, but it can cause an intense small area burn on a child.